child was born, you would plant a tree when people lived in the same place for a long time. And then when they would get married, they would intertwine the branches of the two trees to make the chuppah. In ancient times, if you bought something from me, the witnesses would say they saw me take it, right? But since you can't take obligations, what the witnesses are going to sign to is that in a minute, they're going to see Daniel take this from me. It's called Kinyan Sudar, the acceptance of a handkerchief or usually a kippah. And once he takes that, that means he accepts the obligations. The witnesses sign their names, and then he hands the ketubah to Rosie, and if she takes it from him, we have a wedding. There's, so there's a joint kinyan, there's a joint acceptance. Daniel accepts the uh, kippah, and Rosie accepts the ketubah. Do you accept all the obligations in this ketubah, and please indicate yes by both taking this from me and Rosie? Yes. B'Shem Adonai, mi adir al hakol, mi baruch al hakol, mi gadol al hakol, hu yivarech ha-chatan ve-ha-kala. Blessed be all of you who come in the name of God, supreme in power, blessing, and glory. Bless this groom and this bride. We b'no shalolam, dear God, on this beautiful afternoon. We pray that the same sense of wonder and discovery and mystery and love that has brought Rosie and Daniel to this moment will recur throughout their lives. That they will always find in each other's hands and in each other's hearts the certainty that their love can overcome any trial and any difficulty. That they will share every joy that they will be surrounded as they are today by those who care for them and those who love them. Certain in their faith in each other and their faith in you. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri agafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shakol bara lichvodo With this ring, you are consecrated to me according to the laws of Moses and Israel. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine.
guys who joined the ceremony, was it gorgeous? Twenty years ago, at Rosie's Bar Mitzvah, I was standing here uh, as uncomfortable as I am right now, and I, uh, I thought of like one word that my friend Mike Abrams, who 20 years ago was here and I'm, I'm thrilled is here now, uh, used to use it, and how I characterize Rosie, gets kite. It's kind of a English term, it's not really Yiddish, it's not really English, it means goodness. And that's really sort of... That's Rosie, you know? She always was, and she is whip smart. She's generous, she's good-hearted, and she's always asking, what's that do for the greater good? I'm really happy that these two found each other. I hope that their love, their mutual respect, and their surfing skills improve uh, through the decades. All I want to do is wish Rosie and Daniel a life of good deeds, good fun, good times, mazel tov, bracha, for the singers, bendiciones, vahatslacha, and congratulations, blessings, success, and much, much love from all of us. I stand before you as the proud father of the groom, filled with joy and love for my son Daniel and his beautiful bride, Rosie. Today marks the beginning of their lifelong journey together and it is an honor for my wife, Susan, and I to celebrate this special day with all of you. I must also take a moment to recognize the wonderful families that Daniel and Rosie come from. They both have a deep appreciation for the arts and the power of creativity. From sports to music, literature to the love of the law, Daniel and Rosie immerse themselves in their passions. Tonight, as they embark on this new chapter of their lives, let us raise our glasses to wish Daniel and Rosie a long, healthy, and fulfilling journey together. May their love grow stronger with each passing day, and may their commitment to one another serve as a guiding light through any challenges they may face. So let us celebrate this union and toast to the beginning of Daniel and Rosie's married life May they find happiness in each other's arms, and may their love inspire all of us to seek the same profound connection. Cheers to a long, healthy, and fulfilling journey of love and commitment for Daniel and Rosie. Gone are the days when the ladies sit.